her now 16-year-old son Michael remembers how her health quickly deteriorated. She was just sick. She, was, she wasn't talking good. A few days later, the injections had killed her. Her quest for a new look killed her. Now the person who played doctor in this St. Louis woman's surgery faces criminal punishment. Right now, the woman behind us is jailed, accused of killing that St. Louis mother. Investigators say Lisa Fernandez gave her client deadly silicone injections. The arrest coming years after the victim's death, but now a message to all those watching right from the victim's family. Here's News 4's Gabriela Vidal. If Miles was in the room, you knew she was in the room. You know, she's very outgoing, funny, loved to dance. It's how Calvin and Melvin Arnold remember their niece, Marja McClendon, the best, the life of the party, and a wonderful parent to her three children. We never gave up on getting uh, justice for Marja. McClendon died on April 30th, 2018, days after traveling from St. Louis to Houston to receive silicone butt injections. The last conversation I had with her, when I, she told me she was getting, getting it one more time. She said, Uncle, I'm going to just do it one more time. I said, Marja. Please don't do it one more time. To us looking at her, you didn't think she need this. At the time, they didn't know an unlicensed cosmetic surgeon, Lisa Fernandez, had done the procedure. Harris County court documents say McClendon experienced a number of reactions, including coughing up blood and shortness of breath. And Fernandez had to stop the procedure multiple times. McClendon ended up hospitalized in Houston, eventually flew back to St. Louis, where she was hospitalized again and died. It cost her life. Yeah. And it's not worth it. On Tuesday, Fernandez was arrested in Houston for a traffic violation. Police say she had no driver's license. And while in custody, Harris County prosecutors say she confessed to Marja's 2018 death. KHOU TV reports that St. Louis Metropolitan Police are also investigating Fernandez, but the department would not answer News 4's request for comment. Injecting silicone into the body is a no. Gilberto Rodriguez is a board-certified cosmetic surgeon in South Texas who's worked directly with patients to correct similar illegal cosmetic procedures. You're not being asked to sign informed consent, and you can't find this person on your state medical board website. Those are massive red flags. Secondly, if they don't have a clean office and it doesn't feel like a doctor's office, that should be a red Flag. Calvin and Melvin say Fernandez's arrest brings them closer to closure and hope anyone considering a cosmetic procedure think about what it could cost. Don't do it. I mean, if you know the pain that you could possibly cause for a family and the hurt that's devastated this family, I would highly recommend it to give it a second thought. Another red flag on cosmetic work is if the price or deal seems too good to be true, then it probably is. And if your procedure is being performed at a place like a nail salon or hotel room, that's also a major red flag. She was a mother, sister and daughter. That's how Marja McClendon's family would like her to be remembered. Not just as a woman who died after coming to Houston to get silicone injections. Zach Tawatari talks to the family tonight. We still in shock. Around their dinner table, Deshauna Arnold has spent three years trying to come to grips with the loss of her sister, Marja McClendon. All of this is still like unreal to me. Marja flew to Houston from St. Louis in April of 2018. Courageous, <laughs> bold, self type of person. Her niece, Delea, remembers her aunt's excitement. We like Okay, we love you too, but what's really going on? Why, why are you really here? Her family had no idea what she was planning to do. A cosmetic procedure, silicone injections in her buttocks from someone unlicensed and underground. After getting back to St. Louis, her now 16-year-old son Michael remembers how her health quickly deteriorated. She was just sick. She, was, she wasn't talking good. A few days later, the injections had killed her, and Michael blamed himself. I said, Mama, I said, Mama, don't do that, Mama. Please don't go. She still went. <laughs> but on Wednesday, Marge's family finally felt some justice. The woman accused of administering the fatal injections, 47-year-old Lisa Fernandez, was put behind bars following a traffic stop. We finally can breathe a little bit, inhale, exhale. They want to warn others. We want to make sure that this does not happen to anyone else. 
and remember the woman who brought them so much. We will forever miss her. But no bond, no sentence, no, nothing miss, can be enough to bring Marja back. She took my mom away from me. My, my mother, you only get one mom. Zach Tawatari, KHOU 11 News. Marja was a outgoing, vibrant. This video captures one of the last times Deshauna Arnold saw her sister, Marja McClendon, alive. She was the baby and, you know, her and I were very close. It was April 2018 when Marja made a surprise visit to Houston. She was just like, hey, sister, I'm here. And I'm like, what are you doing here? Is something going on? So I found out that she was going to get an injection. It wasn't Marja's first procedure, but it would turn out to be her last. I'm like, sister, you don't need to do that. You know, you're, you're fine the way you are. And she was like, no, girl, I need to get this butt together. Not knowing that she was going to lose her life. Lisa Fernandez is now charged with manslaughter in connection to Marge's death after performing an illegal procedure to inject silicone into her buttocks. What did you inject her with to kill her? Harris County prosecutors believe there are other victims. Even if they had received these illegally, they are still a victim. Um, you know, if there's any disfigurement, complications that they've um, had or suffered as a result of something that this woman has done, then please come forward. It's too late for Marge's family and the three children she left behind. And she definitely loved her children. But Deshauna hopes no one else goes through this. How long would this go on, this underground procedures that be going on that everyone think is okay and it's not? I just want just justice to be served. A judge did set a bond for Fernandez at $40,000 with the restriction that she do not does not do any beauty consulting and that she does no body altering procedures. So that wasn't her first go around here. But well, apparently it was her last. Despite not feeling well and even going to the hospital after the first appointment, because she was not able to get her money back, she decided to go back to visit Fernandez to finish the procedure the next day. Family says she then flew home to St. Louis, was hospitalized, and died a few days later. And I'm like, well, Marja, are you okay? She said, sister, I can't talk. I'm not feeling good. And she hung up the phone. Courtney, that was the last time I talked to her. Now Marja's sister Deshauna is raising two of her three children and says she would do anything to have her sister back. It's very devastating, heartbroken. We've been through a lot. It's crazy. It just sounds so crazy. Like, I can't believe it. I just came to bring her breakfast and stuff because I called her yesterday and she didn't answer. It was those unanswered phone calls that spurred Barbie to go check on her friend Lisa Fernandez. She didn't want to go on camera, but spoke with us outside of her friend's home this morning. She says she didn't know that Fernandez was arrested yesterday, accused of illegally administering silicone butt injections while unlicensed. This is a big shocker to me. Um, it's a real big shocker. Fernandez went before a judge this morning, charged with second degree manslaughter, accused of killing another woman after injecting her with silicone four years ago. Court documents allege that the victim, Mara McClendon, traveled to Houston in April 2018 for the procedure. Documents allege that Fernandez administered the silicone butt injections twice. McClendon then claimed the first round didn't work and asked for a refund. Instead, they say that Fernandez completed the procedure again. According to the court, she immediately became ill, coughing up blood and had shortness of breath. After going to the hospital, McClendon passed away a week later. Earlier this month, Fernandez was arrested for a traffic offense. And after her arrest, police say she admitted to officers she administered at least one syringe into McClendon's buttocks. The defendant told officers she is not authorized to give the silicone that she uses to inject patients with. The defendant told officers that she is aware of the complications that could occur if the procedure is done incorrectly.